I'm Gabby. I'm Hallie. I'm Matt. We're twins. We're dating. We're dating. <laughs> we're dating. And we're all best friends. And, and we, we got, got a bus. bus. Yeah, we did. <laughs> there aren't many people that I would want to live in a bus with for an extended period of time. Definitely. Yeah. Same. And I feel lucky to have people that I want to do that with. Thanks, Gab. Yeah, you're welcome, Matt. <laughs> Don't let the tears roll yet. It's <laughs> <laughs> only the intro. Well, Sky, why'd we buy a bus? Well, I've had the idea rolling around in my big old brain for it's like huge. four years now um, to get a van and travel around in it. Why did you guys like say yes? <laughs> I think that is a really good question. I definitely think the circumstances of when this opportunity arose it has a lot to do with like why I decided that this was a great opportunity. I think COVID and being a 20 something year old kind of unsure about the future and all of the uncertainty in the world right now really motivated me to find something that I can be certain about and to like look forward to and to put <coughs> a passion into a reality because I do think that this was kind of like a dream a at one point. Project, yeah, yeah, passion project that we just kind of it was something fun to think about during quarantine and kind of plan for. And then in the blink of an eye, it was a reality. And we <laughs> we're doing it. I mean, bus. so many people were like, what? We were all in quarantine together. At our house. Mm -hmm. And kind of just house. in March. So like at the very beginning of quarantine, like puzzle nights every night. Like that kind <laughs> yeah. of vibe. And we were like, wow, the world is at a standstill for the first time in our lives, really. And we have nothing to do for like the first time ever and so we had this idea like why don't we do what we actually want to do Hallie and I are um, graduating in May of 2021 and so we just thought we would love to travel and not do like a nine to five desk job so we came up with the idea to buy originally we were gonna buy a van and then we were, yeah. and we were like that there's never no room for four people in a van so then we started looking into buses and that's how we stumbled upon Beanie. Yeah. yeah. The Bean Machine. Facebook Marketplace was our best, best friend. And then towards like the end of the summer, right around the time we were headed back to school, Sky and Matt found Beanie, right? On Facebook Marketplace? Uh, Gabby's the one that found Yeah, Gabby. Gabby's but Gabby then I like was in school, so you two. He hired a mechanic to look at it first. Mm -hmm. So he went, checked it out, said it looked pretty good. Uh, only minor issues with it still drivable we were able to bring it up from new jersey to mass so sky and i just went for it we met in the middle she was driving from mass down i was driving from maryland up we met at the bus and we both drove together in it up to massachusetts it was crazy crazy day <laughs> yes truly insane and prior to that something that was really interesting is matt and i didn't really hang out one-on-one -on -one before oh, yeah. that was like our first time <laughs> hanging out we're like the most disconnected we're, we're linked through us yeah we're yeah. linked through you guys and you guys had spent some time together but not we were always there yeah right it wasn't yeah. just like you two and now so then i started living with her yes <laughs> and now so hallie and i are like they're only with us because they love like, each other <laughs> don't tell them so yeah matt and i have been working on the bus um together while hallie and gabby are finishing up school and now that we're all together on winter break we can all work together but we both work time pretty much full time um, remotely. So that's how we are getting it done. But I'm a filmmaker and photographer. I do digital marketing for companies. So we both work freelance part time, which allows us to work on the bus mm -hmm. after work and kind of make our own ske schedules, which is really nice. So I go to Syracuse University and I'm studying inclusive elementary and special education. But I hope after our bus adventure, I want to go to grad school for occupational therapy. So that's my track right now. <laughs> and I go to the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm a human development and family studies major with a double in psychology. Still kind of figuring out what my post-grad plans are, which is why the bus opportunity was perfect for me because I knew I would at least be taking a year in between undergrad and grad school if that is in my future. So I figured why not travel with my best friends in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and along the way show people that it's not as hard as you think. It's fun. Like, it is fun. <laughs> there are a lot of bumps along the way. You learn I mean. a lot. Like, I think, Matt, I know you can attest to this for sure, have learned, like, you told me the other day, you mm -hmm. felt like he learned more in this process than he ever had in college, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just getting to work on something directly and see the tangible efforts that you're putting in 
and like walking into the bus and seeing it transform is unlike anything I've ever experienced before. But no, it's it's also been so inspiring like meeting I mean, we haven't been able to meet anyone in person because of the pandemic, but just like through Instagram and um, Facebook and stuff, meeting people in the community who are doing the same thing. Everyone's so helpful mm -hmm. and so, so excited helpful. for you. And we've <clears throat> also just had so many friends and acquaintances who are like engineers or mechanics and just like want to help us on this project mm -hmm. because they find it like inspiring, which has just been so kind and amazing yeah yeah I think that's another reason why we wanted to start this YouTube was to kind of give back what the community has given us and just share everything that we've taken away from it and learned and have everyone along yeah, yeah for sure I think we're we all feel very lucky to be a part of this community and just the kindness and compassion and just genuine support we've felt from people that we've purely met over the internet is incredible and we're so excited for what the future holds and for the opportunity to meet people in person and on the road and just build relationships and connections through this whole experience is like a huge, huge uh, motivating factor for this whole project. We wanted to spread some messages that are pretty core to our, our values. Um, one being sustainability, that's a huge one. We're going to be entirely sustainable, off-grid, solar-powered, um, compost toilet, the works. And during the build and throughout the whole road trip and journey, um, we want to be as zero waste as possible because driving a big, huge 20,000 pound diesel bus really is a lot of carbon emissions. Yes. <laughs> um, and we want to offset that as much as possible, as well as spreading the word about sustainability and how you can be sustainable and why it's important. Another one of our core values and kind of message we want to bring with this whole project is the power of the human connection. I think especially in the times of COVID and the pandemic when social relationships and meeting people and having conversations is very limited, unfortunately. I know that's taken a huge toll on, on me personally and who I am, so... We're all pretty extra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Maybe that nice. has a little bit of <laughs> You actually touched on another one of the things that I think is very important to all of us. You said meeting people. Uh, who are chasing their dreams or their passions. Another thing we want to focus on is that there isn't one path in life, and a lot of us feel kind of like we're stuck on a path. Um, high school, college, get a job, nine to five office job, something like that. We wanted to break away from that norm and prove to others, show others that it's possible too, that you can work remotely, chase your dreams, do something different from what everybody else seems to be doing, even when there's so much pressure against you to go with the norm we can figure out ways to stray away from it, do what we want to do in life, and enjoy life because that's what it's all about. And then I think one last one, I think we all share, but I think really like hits home for me is that I think like representation and empowerment is very important and like we want to create a space where women and LGBTQ people feel like accepted. Like I know for a long time in my life, like I came out my senior year of high school and up until then, like I watched YouTube. Literally, <laughs> I locked oh, myself in my room. Yeah, I never <laughs> saw I, you. <laughs> I literally, because that was the place where I found people that looked like me and that were like me. YouTube was huge for me and I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel and I think like this means so much to me because I hope that like young LGBTQ youth will find this channel. And it's not only about like our bus conversion. Right. I mean, that's why we're making the channel and we want to show you our journey, but it's also about who we are as people. Mm -hmm. Right. And what we value. Our ba yeah, our backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. Like out the outdoors is amazing. Like I <laughs> am obsessed with the earth and I think that the representation of women and LGBTQ folks in the outdoors is really important. We want to listen to, like, we are creating this YouTube channel to become part of the YouTube community where we can learn and listen yep. to other people who are yeah. different than us as well. And yeah. there's going to be so much to open our eyes to, and I think we're really also excited about that. Yeah, aspect. and we hope you'll follow along. If you guys have any questions um, about anything, about anything, yeah. anything that you want to know, um, anything that you want to tell us, any advice, anything like that, let us know in the comments. What do YouTubers say? Like and subscribe. Smash the like button. Smash. Hit that subscribe. There's a little <laughs> notification bell. Click on that. 
with all notifications. No, no, no. They go, they go, we'll put it here. Oh, wait. And then they like edit it into the video. Right it should be here. right, it should be right there. Our wait. Instagram handle is. It's going to be all over this. Can you, can I pop up the Instagram handle oh, right in here? All right. Here. Four babes Follow. in the bus. Okay, love you. <laughs> is that going to be your exit that all YouTubers? Four babes. What? One bus. Bus. I'm the bus. Mm, that's way too, we can't do that. That's way too Can you make it like a me? Oh yeah. Thanks for tuning in. That's now get all, out folks. there. Into the wilderness. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Now get out. Let's Dude. sing to them a farewell. <laughs> Be a good person. Bye. That's like Ellen DeGeneres. Oh. Uh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah. Right. Mm, mm. See ya. Uh, 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 ow, ow. I like oh. that. No. <laughs> See ya! See ya! Pink pile! Ah!